Now, someone recently mentioned on my uh, channel that uh, Alberta no longer requires uh, uh, limited wheelbases for trucks. Um, I don't agree with it because, you know, I sent an email to uh, Alberta Ministry of Transportation and this is what they sent me back. This is the most recent uh, tractor semi-trailer, uh, uh, you know, document kind of requirements, right? And don't look at the um, trailer that is a kind of a box trailer. This can be any trailer. Th these rules apply to all trailers. Now look at the uh, wheelbase here. Wheelbase 6.2 meters. Now 6.2 meters is 620 centimeters divided by 2.54. That's inches. So 244 inches is still the maximum uh, length that allowed for the truck. Now the you see then they also limit interaxle spacing here, uh, overhang, you know, and overall length. See it says here maximum 23 meters. Again, 23 meters. That's this much in centimeters divided by 2.544 inches, right? Divided by 12. That's your feet, 75 feet. That's the length, right? And the semi-trailer is 16.2 meters. That's 53 feet. Yeah. I just want to double check. You wanted a half set. Yeah. Sorry, someone interrupted me here. But anyway, so yeah, those are the rules. And um, another thing that this is Alberta, right? So uh, this is very indicative of what uh, Western Canada requires. Like these are here's the weights for you know steering axle, tandem axles, tridem axles, and an interesting thing about Alberta here is that any any tridem with three to three point seven meters gives you the same uh, twenty four thousand kgs. This is the maximum legal weight, uh, and that's why usually you don't see trailers that have more than. Uh, 60 inches between spacing because for them there's no reason to go to 72 inch spacing they just use 60 but one more thing here the tandem um, tandem spacing uh, where is it oh over here tandem axle spread see you cannot be more than 1.85 meters which is 72 inches like alberta bc and Saskatchewan, Manitoba, they don't recognize 10-1 spread, you know, 10 feet, 1 inch. Uh, if you go there with 10-1 uh, spread, you'll, you will lose one axle. Basically, they'll allow you only uh, 20,000 pounds on your, on your two axles. But So that's why you need this. And that's why I modified my trailer. And you see, Tridem can be the maximum 3.7, but again, there's no reason to go to 3.7 when you get the maximum already at three meters, right? And just to compare, uh, here's Saskatchewan. And Saskatchewan has this crazy PDF that you have to <laughs> multiply. I mean, uh, you know, make bigger. But you see here's again, uh, it's slightly different from for three axles in Saskatchewan. But again, you cannot go beyond 72 inches on a, on a tandem. And check out wheelbase. Wheelbase for a tractor manufactured after June 1988, 6.2 meters. So it's the same 244. See, and they have all these pictures here. And then they give you the roads, stuff like that. So it took me a while to collect all this, but now at least they have these four documents here for Alberta, Manitoba, and Ontario. And the Ontario and Eastern Canada is pretty much, this is just my kind of uh, brief summary. Uh, Ontario and Eastern provinces of Canada, they pretty much give you, um, uh, you can go there with the US built trailer, like they recognize 10-1 spread. Uh, and basically the bigger your spread, the better. And you see, they, you can get like 19.1 thousand kgs on a big spread. So it's crazy, but as far as the wheelbase is concerned, so Western Canada still requires, uh, still limits you to 244 inches. Thanks for watching.